city has ever seen. It is so bad that first responders are actually being trained on bed bug detection and prevention. News Channel 5's Jim Lentz has more on the city's efforts to contain the creepy crawlers. No one expected to find what firefighters ran into at a home along Harvey Street in southeast Canton. Firefighters responded to a medical emergency, and what they found was a house infested with bed bugs. Mark Adams of Canton's Health Department says the problem wasn't detected right away. Firefighters responded to a property, and when they went inside, after they did what they needed to do, they realized that uh, there was an extreme problem with bed bugs in the house. They gave us a call. As the director of environmental health, Adams was called to the scene. He was shocked to see how bad things were. I went and found uh, bed bugs were on some of the firemen, uh, picked them off of them, and then went in the, into the home for an inspection. Adams is quick to add that bed bugs don't have any boundaries, which complicates the problem. They can show up at the most affluent homes in any neighborhood. It's one more thing that safety forces face, but it's an issue they can't let get in the way of any emergency. When I enter a house, uh, bed bug infestation is not on my mind. We're concentrating on patient care, protocol, standing orders, things of that nature. Apparently bed bugs are everywhere. Um, we're not going to know if they're in, you know, the lower income homes or the higher income homes. We just got to be aware of our surroundings at all times. The city of Canton has held training sessions to educate the safety forces about the bug problem. This information will help prevent the spread of the bugs. In Canton, for News Channel 5, Jim Lentz. Thank you, Jim. And from bedbug battles to pothole problems, today we found crews out there.